When a new president arrives, behind the scenes curators are hard at work. As the outgoing president leaves, within hours, decor gets switched out. Each president gets to choose what they want, so they um, they have access to the full collection and they can say, you know, I would like to have this particular portrait featured in my Oval Office, et cetera, or this bust. Um, so I think that's really cool and it kind of uh, shows what's important to them. Lena Mann is a historian for the White House Historical Association. They oversee the White House collection, which contains more than 65,000 pieces from art to china to furniture. Her favorite piece? There are these console tables that exist in the state dining room, and they have basically these huge, gigantic eagle legs, and I just think that's really fun. They date to uh, 1900s uh, renovation of the White House under Teddy Roosevelt. Items saved thanks to efforts by First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, known for revamping and even glamming up 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. She really wanted it to present American history, and so she really pushed to make it into a living museum. An act of Congress in 1961 formalized the White House collection. Since then, presidents and first ladies have had their pick. And it's also cool to see uh, what the First Lady likes to pull as well. What touch does the family put on the White House since it is not just an office but a home?